They might be completely different, but from the outside, the Louvre Abu Dhabi appears to be just as fascinating as its sister in Paris. Designed by French architect Jean Nouvel, it draws the lapping waters of the Gulf into its outer corridors, while individual beams of light pass through its roof to strike the surface. The museum, which is the first to bear the Louvre name outside France, opened over the weekend drawing a crowd as diverse as the cosmopolitan United Arab Emirates itself. The Louvre Abu Dhabi is indeed the first universal museum in the Middle East. What does it mean, universal? It's a very old notion and it could describe the Louvre in Paris, British Museum, the Met or l'Hermitage. Universal means a um, will to tackle the world and to embrace its diversity. But in Abu Dhabi, in the Louvre Abu Dhabi, which is a unique museum, an authentic museum, an Emirati museum, what we're trying to do is to renew the concept of Universal Museum. We are telling a story. It is a story, it is the story of the history of art throughout time. For the next 10 years, the Paris Museum will lend works for a maximum of two years to its Abu Dhabi partner. For its permanent collection, the museum has acquired hundreds of pieces dating from the earliest Mesopotamian civilizations to the present day. Abu Dhabi has invested more than $1 billion in the museum, but during construction, the project faced intense criticism over conditions faced by labourers, such as low pay and long hours working in the heat. But museum officials say they've been open about the situation. The Louvre Museum in, in, in France uh, was uh, a part of this history of human rights in the 18th century. So uh, that's right, from the beginning, uh, we put this question on the table to, to speak very frankly. Despite the controversy surrounding the museum, it's already attracting visitors from around the world. This museum gives the message that we are all, at the end of the day, the same human beings, and it breaks the boundaries that dif differentiate between people and races and religions and origins. This museum actually goes beyond expectation because the museum is an icon in itself. And then under its roof, under its beautiful roof, it has so many nice pieces of art which brings the whole world together. But the Louvre is just the first step in Abu Dhabi's greater plans to create its Saadiyat cultural district. Next to cross off the list are the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi and Zayed National Museum. The project has been denounced by some as a shop window for a society that doesn't exist. It's also been criticised for perpetuating Eurocentrism in art. But others are already rating it as a go-to-world destination to spot art treasures.